Hi, I'm Ray and this is my gardening channel. Today I've come down to the allotment. I've not been here for a few days and I've come to have a look and see what's going on. And this channel is all about showing you the good things you can grow and it's also going to show you bad things too. Let me show you. Mm, lovely. So, in my Icicle tour, I show you my board beans, and these were doing really well until I found they'd all flopped over. And I couldn't really work out the reason why, but now I've come back today, and all my broccoli completely stripped, completely everything, every one of these completely eaten how annoying and also well annoyed well annoyed just notice I'll show you so this was my Asda broccoli and we did have a hole in the back here that has been filled in since. We've got a hole in the polytunnel still. But look at all this broccoli. Every bit, every bit. Been eaten. Really, really, really eaten. Looks like they had a party on here. And there's some evidence of poo there. Some big, big quality droppings. So, hmm. It looks like they had a party on here. Sat here having their party, having their munch away. Hmm. Not impressed. They don't like onions, but they do like the brassicas. Hmm. How annoying. in my parsnip box and look they stripped a whole parsnip that was a massive massive big parsnip it's all gone but where are they I don't know look at that that was massive absolutely gutted gutted Oh well, oh well. Still have some bits on the shelf. The sweet peas are still going. We have got some more brassicas, but it's not really much point putting them anywhere until we find the culprit. This is my unknown. And we've got some Onions just poking out now. These are the Lisbon onions. Just creeping out, that's looking good. Really, really pleased with them. And good old labels. Whatever they are. And we've got some Swedes. They pretty much need sorting out, but it's just not worth the effort. Uh, 
The garlic's doing good. I've just seen a hole under this part. So they might be coming out of here. Hmm. I've just seen another hole under the parsnip bed. But how annoying is that? Look at them. They were doing really well as well. That was my Asda. Broccolis. Hmm. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So, any ideas? What do you think it might be? Leave me a note in the comments. It's got to be pretty big. Likes a party. Who lives in a house like this? Ah. <laughs> ah, uh, dear. So now, around four weeks, the broad beans are coming through and these are the Bunyards exhibition, which is quite good because we might need some now. And we do have some peas and some cauliflowers. Not much happening on this side and my ornamental cabbages are looking a bit sad. Whatever my little pest is, he likes potatoes. So we come outside and now this is where my carrots are supposed to be. And as you can see, these have been dug up and eaten as well. Now I'm going to do a reveal on these carrots. But there might be a few left, but not many. So I guess we've left them in far too long and a mistake that we should have dug them up and got them out. But we learn by our lessons and we won't do it again. On a positive note, we have mended the door frame. My kind neighbour helped us the other day and we've fitted a new framework and a new catch. So if the wind blows now, it's going nowhere. And we've also filled up the gaps, top and bottom, so nothing can actually get in. So that's a good job done. Really pleased with that, giving it some strength. really pleased. So thank you very much for helping me do that. We've got it sorted. Again here is another batch of carrots and we can see those have been eaten along with the parsnips which is next to the cabbage. So I guess that was a good parsnip too. Oh well, I guess the wildlife has got to eat, but could have waited. Could have waited. Oh well. I see Mr. Mole has been around been about a few places this week. Oh well. So 
So that was a bit of a disastrous visit. Oh well, never mind. Oh well. But this channel shows you what it is as it is. No pretending. It is as it is. Day by day. So there we go. I guess the wildlife has got to eat. And it's also a guide that I should have took it out a lot earlier. But the allotment is as is as it is. There's no pretending. There's no masquerading. It's as it is day to day. With all the lockdowns and the school Zoom meetings, visits down here are not so much as they were during the first lockdown. So it is what it is, as I said, and we just get on and we start again with the spring and the new season. So thank you very much for watching and if you're new to my channel then please subscribe and ring that bell and we'll see what we can do this spring and make it a nice colourful and fruitful allotment for 2021. So thank you very much. Cheers!